Hello everyone. One of these memory sticks has started to go bad, and is now causing crashes. In today's video we're gonna test these memory sticks with Memtest 86. I know there are several possible reasons a computer might crash, but in my experience it's usually the memory that's the problem. We can test and diagnose this using a program called Memtest 86. All you'll need to do this is a flash drive, and then navigate to this site Memtest 86. Click on the download button to download the Memtest 86 zip file now. Once downloaded, extract contents of the zip file to a folder. And then run the image USB executable. Now plug in your USB drive into the computer. Click the checkbox next to it in the list to confirm the installed destination. Next make sure write image to USB drive is selected. Now make sure memtest86 image is selected. And finally click write. The system will ask you to confirm the installation into your USB drive. Select yes to continue. This screen is letting you know that the USB drive will be erased. This is your last chance to cancel. If everything is fine, click yes to continue. This install process will take a few minutes. Once the USB drive is ready, it's time to shut down the computer. Once the computer has been shut down, open the case. Depending on the number of RAM sticks, you have you will either have to remove one or two sticks of RAM. Essentially, we want to test your RAM sticks one at a time. Once you only have one stick remaining, start up your computer and boot to the USB flash drive. If you don't know how to boot from a USB flash drive, this process of scanning RAM can take a long time, the more memory you have the longer it takes. So it's best to do tests like this when you don't need to use the computer. After a while, you'll either be met with a screen like this saying you have no issue. or another screen that will say you do. From here, shut off your computer. Then remove the RAM stick market as either being bad or good. And swap in another stick. Now scan the next memory stick. Do this routine for every stick of RAM you have, until all of your RAM has been checked. If you find that none of your sticks are bad then your issue is likely something else, and further diagnosis is required. However if you find that a RAM stick is bad, you can replace it with a similar make and speed model of RAM. Hopefully this video was helpful.